President Supanavong is among the most prominent revolutionary figures from the Indochina War era who led the struggle to liberate the region from subjugation by successive foreign powers. To commemorate the 105th anniversary of the birth of President Supanavong from July 13, 1909 to July 13, 2014, we asked the public what do you remember about President Supanavong? July 13, 2014 marks an important date in Laos history, the anniversary of Lung Supanovong, known as President Supanovong or Prince Supanovong's birth. Tan Supanovong, they sang Pungan by Yang Luang Lai, Tipin Wutian and Mi Kun Ka Sung. The life history of President Supanavong is widely recalled in many places, aiming to give officials, the army, police and all Lao people the opportunity to learn about the leadership, healthy lifestyle and patriotism he personified. At the time, the, the war was split in two, in two camps, the capitalist and the revolutionary, the socialist country. When I follow the activities, uh, closely the activities of President Tupanubong. What I knew from him is he is a leadership uh, who uh, has sacrificed, sacrificed everything from his, as his position as a prince to, to join the revolution and sacrifice his interest, the family, the everything. So that's one thing. And uh, when I came back, I joined the foreign office and I have the opportunity to accompany President Tsukhanubong to different uh, international meetings. So I have learned a lot from him. First, what we have, what uh, he has uh, taught us is uh, as a diplomat, is the uh, first one, the quality is to be uh, sincere with your counterpart and uh, by uh, seeking um, uh, normally the reason to discuss, but not in the anti, but this is the reason. And uh, that is what I have learned from him. Dr. Maliya Sanyabong, who is now retired, served in the Lao Ministry of Foreign Affairs in various capacities, including as ambassador of the Lao PDR to the Federal Republic of Germany, said under the leadership of late President Supanavong, the revolutionary force achieved military victories leading to national liberation and the new regime emerged as the legitimate government of the country. Another thing that I have learned from him is you know the uh, modesty. President Sukhanabon was a very modest people. So perhaps the young generation, especially for those who have uh, studied a lot, uh, should be modest in, in, in the conduct of the you know, not, not to be proud or proud, you know, very modest because President Sukhanabon was very a modest people, yeah, a modest person. All of these had practical benefits and were followed up by action rather than being limited to words. By putting national and public benefit before his personal gain, he was able to command the respect of all. Than Pratan Supanavong, they jag po kau pai, doi boi wan kap kun ma, ne wan thi kau dian mang kon, pi nung pan kau hoi kau sim ha. For the new generation, so what uh, you have to learn from him is how to know to sacrifice but uh, your but own your interest but only the uh, uh, personal interest for the uh, good of the interest of the community that's the one thing that's important right? I think he was a very smart man who only wanted peace and happiness for Laos and was willing to make great sacrifices to see this come into being. He did so many things for Laos, including leaving his privileged life in the royalty to fight together with the Lao people because he wanted Laos to have freedom and not be subservient to anyone. I 
I think it's good that we celebrate his birthday every year and always talk about his story because I want all Lao people to keep him in their minds forever and make him an Ooh, idol to us. No. Oh. And that wraps up our today's edition of news. Your comments and suggestions are always welcome in order to improve our news program. You can also view more news, hit like and share our news on Facebook at worldwideweb.facebook.com slash Lao National Television English News Program. I'm Selimah Thaidong for me and the news team. Thank you very much for being with us. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye.